Rage on that beat, going crazy. Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Quisha. On this channel, I like to do makeup, mukbangs, and more. Y'all, today is more. It's a hair video. Today, I am reviewing the entire line from Earth Supply. I won all of this stuff from Earth Supply on a giveaway on Team Naturals Instagram. I'll put it down below. I can't believe I won. Y'all never win anything. So I was super hyped. They sent me their entire line and some extra products. So I'm gonna say up front, I did not have the best experience getting my products. I had to chase after them pretty much to get my stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this. My customer service experience was not the best. I will also go ahead and say that did not factor in when I was reviewing these products. That had nothing to do with it. I just wanna go ahead up front and just let y'all know that there was a lot of me chasing around when I won. The details of the giveaway was to like wait two weeks and if you don't receive anything, reach back out. And I did. And pretty much they told me to reach out to Team Natural. Earth Supply told me to reach out to Team Natural to figure out the issue. Then Earth Supply sent me an email saying that, sorry for the confusion, they'll send me my products. And I waited another week or so and I never got anything. So I emailed them again and said, hey, you know, can I get a shipping number so I can at least track my package so that way I don't miss it or anything like that. Took them a little while to respond to me. I'm gonna say about a week or so. Then they finally sent me a tracking number. Then they said, um, the other half of my products will be forthcoming and they would reach out to me with a shipping number. <laughs> I got the first half of my packages and then I waited around another week or so for them to give me the shipping number for the second half. I never got it. So again, I reached out to them, took a couple of days and they finally got back to me with a shipping number. And I will say that when they sent me the other half of my stuff, they sent me a free gift. They sent me some Epsom salt. It's like an apology for the confusion and the weight and all that. So I just wanna be very honest with my experience dealing with them. I don't know if that's how they treat paying customers, but that's how they treat a giveaway winner so I was already a little bit salty <laughs> about that it just wasn't the best experience I feel like you should treat people the same no matter what if they're getting things for free or if they're a paying customer we should all be treated the exact same so it left a bad taste in my mouth but I still went on ahead and used the products I actually filmed this video about a month ago and then my dumb behind accidentally deleted the footage. So the footage that you're going to be seeing is my second time using all of the products. It's going to be a second impressions, which I actually, you know, it was, it was a bit of a blessing in disguise because I actually ended up liking some of the products a lot more the second time I used them, which was really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all a little bit about Earth Supply. So before I won the giveaway, I had actually never heard of Earth Supply before. They are a natural hair brand and all of their products are extremely affordable. I'm talking about everything is like under $10, y'all. So their About Us section reads, transparency, that is simple. What's inside matters just as much as outside. Earth Supplied is always enriched with high levels of the purest butters and oils, globally sourced and carefully chosen for their amazing beauty benefits. Real ingredients, real benefits, real results. So on their website, you actually can't buy anything. They just kind of direct you to distributors. So you can buy Earth Supply at Amazon, Sally Beauty, Wegmans, Walmart, and Family Dollar. Curlbox sends out Earth Supply stuff. Earth Supply delivers 20% shea butter in every leave-in conditioner is cool they even compare themselves to shea moisture and can too which according to them does not use at least 20 percent of shea butter interesting they have a moisture and repair collection as well as a strength and length collection and they sent me products from both of them so i have a lot of stuff to talk about so if you are interested in my review of the earth supply line and you want to see my results please keep watching how y'all doing y'all all right I'm good y'all. I actually feel a lot better now that I've washed my hair. I've been lazy. <laughs> I just finished washing my hair and I use the detangler, the shampoo, and the conditioner. So let's talk about these real quick before we take down my hair and see how it's feeling looking and all that stuff. So as far as the hair slip conditioning detangler, I 
did not like this. It really didn't do much for me as far as providing slip. And it says hair slip conditioning detang detangler. It didn't really give me a lot of slip. It was actually a little bit more difficult to detangle my hair with this than without it. So in my opinion, for my hair, I did not like this. And this is not a product that I would purchase. So I actually only use this on the front two sections because when I detangled the back sections without it, it was a lot easier. So this, I am not a fan of the detangler. No ma'am. So moving on to the sulfate free shampoo. It is an okay shampoo. It's not my favorite shampoo. This stripped my hair a little bit. It didn't strip my hair a ton. I'm not saying this isn't the, this is not the most stripping or the worst shampoo I've ever used. I just feel like I have other shampoos that I prefer over this one. The shampoo is a no for me. Moving on to the silicone free rinse out conditioner. Y'all can see I put a nice dent in this conditioner. I've only used it twice. I'm a little bit heavy handed when it comes to conditioners and stuff because one, I usually don't use conditioners. My shampoos are moisturizing enough to where I can just wash my hair and go immediately into deep conditioning. But using this shampoo, I actually felt like I did need to immediately go in with a conditioner. So I used quite a, quite a bit of it. It's a nice conditioner. It's a nice conditioner. It felt really good on the hair. It didn't really give like that slippy, slippy feel that I like with conditioners, but I don't hate it. It's okay. Would I buy this? No. So let's take down my hair and see how it's feeling. So this is my second time around using these products. So this is not a first impressions by any means. Look at me looking all cute. All right, let's see how it's feeling. So I did, after I washed my hair, I left the conditioner. I put the conditioner on and then I put my hair in these little things and then I showered my body and then I left my hair in these and then I rinsed out the conditioner. So there probably is still a little bit of conditioner in my hair, but that's fine because I'm finna get ready and go right into deep conditioning. No big deal. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go right into deep conditioning. So the last time I used this mask, I didn't love it. It just didn't leave my hair feeling like super moisturized and just the way I like my hair to feel after using a mask but I feel like that might have something to do with the fact that this is protein I don't know too much about protein treatments for the hair I just typically like to use a deep conditioner that has some protein in it and that kind of suffices as my protein treatment for the month I'm not a protein expert on hair so I'm not going to speak too much on that I'm only going to talk about how my hair feels after using this mask so let's go ahead and get this on my hair <sighs> I'm telling y'all I always feel and oh and I do have band-aids on these two fingers <laughs> because there's like um, diamonds and stuff on my nails and it was snagging my hair so I just put some waterproof band-aids on while I do my hair because I'm not trying to be pulling out more hair than um, need be. You know, we already lose enough hair <laughs> during the whole hair day process. So no need to be losing any extra hair over some press-ons. There's still a little bit conditioner in my hair, which is fine, it doesn't bother me one bit. My hair does feel really soft. Like I said, nothing bad against the conditioner. It's just not one that I feel the need to purchase. So, but my hair feels soft. It feels nice and clean, it looks clean, it feels really good. So if you do buy the shampoo, I highly recommend getting the conditioner with it because you will need it. I do like the smell of these products. It's a really nice, light, clean fragrance. It smells good. I, I really like the smell of these products. That is a huge plus for me. Just adding a little bit more water to my hair. I like my hair to be pretty damp when I do my deep conditioner. I feel like I get better results that way. Definitely focusing some on the ends here. Hit them praying hands. And I do a little bit of detangling while I'm doing the um, deep conditioner. Not too much, number one, because I'm lazy and I'm gonna have to, you know, detangle my hair in a bit anyway, but I just kind of like to get, you know, Get it as detangled as possible.
Okay, so now that I have my deep conditioner on, I keep my my hair is now in two sections because when I rinse it out, that's the that's how I rinse out my hair, one half at a time. So, so I have my shower cap here. So I have some random holes poked through this cap because I'm going to use my heated conditioning cap. So I put this in the microwave for about a minute and it stays hot for about 30 minutes. So that's the perfect amount of time for me to deep condition. I like to use this sometimes instead of sitting it under the dryer because with this on, I can walk around, I can you know do things that I need to do like around the house and stuff. So now I'm deep conditioning. I will see y'all in about 30 minutes. All right, y'all, I am back. It's actually been an hour because I was being lazy and I had to make a smoothie, y'all. Health, if anybody cares, this smoothie has a half a cup of spinach in it, fresh ginger, mixed berry body armor, eight ounces, strawberries, mango, peaches, lemon, and I think that's it. Oh, and a tablespoon of chia seeds. You know, y'all I'm trying over here, okay? Don't be surprised if y'all see stuff in my teeth. I'm trying to be healthy. All right, so let's take my hair down. We are done deep conditioning. Also, it never hurts to leave your deep conditioner on longer. I know some people say it doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't have any effects if you leave it on longer than, like I think they say once 15 minutes is up, that's pretty much all it's gonna do. I don't care. I leave it on because I have stuff to do and I feel like the longer it's on, the better, so. I always do 30 minutes no matter what. So let's see what it's feeling like. So it feels really good. It actually feels a lot better than it did the first time I used it. It feels really soft. It did not feel this soft the first time I used the deep conditioner. What the hell changed? It feels really good. So I looked up the price of the deep conditioner. They sell it at Sally's. I'm gonna put the website to the company in the description box down below. This mask is $8 at Sally's and I feel like that is a really good price for this mask. When I first recorded this, the mask was a no for me. Now the mask is a yes. So maybe it's a blessing that I had to film this all over again because my opinions have changed on some of these products. Love it, feels really good. Okay, so I'm gonna section off my hair and then we're gonna start styling. I'm only gonna film myself doing one section because it's the same thing all over my head. Plus I wanna watch Housewives y'all. So let's go ahead and get my hair into four sections. Okay, so I have quite a few products here in front of me. I'm not gonna use all of these because I don't use as many products when I do my hair. I usually just use water, a leave-in, an oil, a curl cream, and a gel, and that's it. And I have like way more products here, so I'm only going to use the products that I use to do my hair. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the leave-in conditioner. So this is their textured hair care line, and this leave-in conditioner has no sulfates, no silicones, parabens, mineral oil, petroleum, paraffin, propylene, glycol, phthalates, gluten, PBA, or D DEA. Um, it's great for natural, transitioning, relaxed, and color-treated hair. So it says it protects and repairs split ends, reduces breakage, softens, and adds manageability to brittle hair, and infuses moisture and smooths frizz. So let's get into it. I'm also going to be using this anti-break shine oil. I'm gonna use this to seal in my hair. I used this last time and it was a nice light oil. I didn't love it for sealing my hair, but I'm gonna try it again today because things are turning out differently. And uh, so this says, always enriched with high levels of the purest butters and oils, globally sourced and carefully chosen for their amazing beauty benefits to you. And again, this has all the no silicone, no nothing, you know, it has the same thing, the no sulfates, no silicones, etc. So this is a high shine finishing oil for lustrous hair, lightweight, non-greasy conditioning, protects hair from environmental damage. So it says, use daily as a conditioning oil by massaging into the scalp and work down the hair shaft. For deep conditioning, coat hair and apply a thermal cap for 10 minutes, then rinse thoroughly with shampoo or warm water style as usual. So since this says this is a conditioning oil, I'm just gonna put this on all over the section first and I'll just use my regular jojoba oil. I don't really know how good of a job that did with sealing the, um, with holding in moisture and sealing in my hair anyway the first time I used it. Then there is this shine and hold mist, which I won't be using. I'm not really sure when or what I would use this for. May I might just use this as like a hair refresher. So this is to replenish moisture, detangle, soften, and repair curly hair, okay. Direction, shake well, spray dinner generously onto damp hair, roots to end, section by section, and comb through with a wide tooth comb for even distribution. Also great to re-moisturize, shine, and smooth your hair for the next day styles. I'm just gonna use this like a curl refresher, so I'll keep y'all updated on this. I don't really, I'm not sure exactly like 
whatever. Next up is my absolute favorite product from the line. This is the Curl Pop and Activator. I absolutely love this. I will repurchase this. It is so moisturizing. It feels so smooth. It feels really good on the hair and it actually defines the curls. I love this and for $7 baby, I will absolutely be getting this again. Okay, so the final product that I have here is the Creamy Defining Gel. Oh, I did not like this the last time I used it on my hair. I am gonna go ahead and use this again just because y'all never got to see my results, but I did not like this gel to my, in my opinion, it didn't really do anything. It didn't like clump up the curls. It didn't do anything like, it didn't do what gels normally do. It just kind of felt like a whatever product. The only thing that I'm using that is not from the line is my jojoba oil and that's to seal in my leave-in conditioner. Y'all, this is just really not my day. I have been talking for about 20 minutes and I wasn't filming a damn thing. I'm gonna hurry up and finish up this section. I'm gonna start over and say what I just said for 20 minutes. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so mad at myself right now, y'all. I'm so mad at myself. Maybe it did record something because I heard a noise. I don't know when the camera cut off. Oh my gosh, now I feel like I gotta go back and look at the footage. Oh, shit. I'm so mad, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad. This is when a bitch need a drink, but all I got to drink is this damn smoothie. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I don't know what was filming and what was not, so I'm gonna quickly go over the pro. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this section of my hair while I talk about the products. <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Cause not only is this my second time recording this freaking footage, and now I didn't even. Woosa bitch, woosa. So now I'm going in with the Curl Pop and Activator, which was, which is my absolute favorite product from the entire line. I just love the way it feels on my hair. It just glides right on. It just does a good job of defining the curls and you don't have to use a lot of it. A little bit goes a very long way, which I love. I'm just going in with my dimming brush, going in with the gel. They also sent me this length retention oil that I really like and it's only $5. I can't find it right now, but I highly recommend that as well. It has jojoba oil and a Chinese bamboo, some sort of Chinese bamboo extract. I'm doing a chunkier twist out this time around because number one, I'm lazy. I also just wanna see how my hair looks when I do kind of like medium sized twists like this instead of like, like this section would usually be four twists and now I'm only making it two. I just kind of want to see it, the difference, if it makes any difference because if it doesn't, I'm just gonna do my hair like this from now on because time, <laughs> laziness, time. I'm not even gonna go back and refilm that stuff that I was saying. I'm just gonna film it in another sec part of the video because I can't even deal right now. <laughs> I can't, baby, I can't. I gotta get off camera y'all because I am like not, <laughs> I am not in the mood now. I'm like really not. I'm gonna go in with this anti-break shine oil. I'm just gonna put this all over my scalp and hair. Going in with the leave-in conditioner and this leave-in conditioner is very thick. It is like, it is not gonna go, I gotta hold it like so my hands are slippery, but it is not, it's not going anywhere y'all. I love that, I love a thick leave-in. My hair is super thick, so I need thicker products and this is a great leave-in. I would highly recommend this. And I know I'm heavy-handed with my products, y'all. I don't wanna hear it. I like being heavy-handy. My hair needs all the moisture it can get. I'm gonna seal that in with my jojoba oil. Okay, so those are the products that I'm using and that is the order. So, so far I have four twists here. I'm gonna probably do two more right here and then do the rest of my head. So I'm gonna finish my hair and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so it is a couple days later and I am ready to take my hair down. So I'm gonna quickly talk about what happened the other day. <laughs> I don't know what happened. My camera just cut off out of nowhere and I didn't really get to, and a part of what I was talking about got cut out. So I got so frustrated. <laughs> 
I just filmed me doing a section or two of my hair and then I wrap it up. So after I got done filming that section, all I did was just finish the rest of my hair and I banded it up and I put it in a bonnet and I said I didn't um, blow dry it. I didn't sit under the dryer or anything like that because I knew that I wasn't going to be filming the next day. So, so I washed my hair on Thursday and today is Saturday and now we're taking down my hair. So let's see what it's looking like. This bonnet is from Monet Dior Couture. I will put the link in the description box down below. Let's see y'all. Also, I did find the oil that I lost. Um, I didn't have this in the first part of the video, but this, this is the Retention Oil Serum, and I really like this. I believe this is only $5. It's just a really nice, light oil. So I'm gonna use this to take down my twist. How y'all doing, y'all all right? So I didn't, so I'm gonna talk about the first time I used these products when um, when I tried to film it and I deleted the footage. I didn't love the feel of my hair when I was taking it down. I just, it didn't feel like it was gonna give me much longevity with my twist out. I'm kind of getting the same deal here. It just doesn't feel like this is gonna be a twist out that's gonna last me a whole week. My twist outs usually last me about five days and I don't know if this is gonna really do that. And my last twist out when I used all these products did not last me. It only lasted me two days, but that was because I got, it was like around the 4th of July and it was because it rained on the 4th of July. So when I went out that day with my hair down, natural hair and water and humidity do not mix. So my hair like immediately shrunk up. So I really only got to see two days worth of the hairstyle. And to be honest, I liked my hair the first day way better than I did the second day, so which is not usually typical for me. Okay, so this is how my hair looks before um, I'm getting ready, before I go in and pick it out. I like it, the results look really nice. It looks defined. It feels soft-ish. I'm not gonna say it feels like stiff or anything, but it's not like the softest twist out, but it's also like not super stiff or anything like that either. All right, so I'm gonna pick it out and then we're gonna get a real good look at it. I think I have my hair picked out to my liking. All right, so I think I have my hair picked out to my liking. So I'm gonna do a spin for y'all so y'all can see what it's looking like. All right, what do y'all think? Um, I like the results. It looks really good, nice and big and fluffy. I do have like some frizz and stuff like that, but it's nothing too crazy. I like the definition. I have good definition. I Like I said, I can just tell by the look of this twist out that it's not going to last me very long. I might get three days out of this, maybe. I just, I can tell just by the amount of frizz and just the way that my hair feels. I just, it doesn't feel like it's going to hold up for all that long. And I'm going to be honest, I do not plan to really leave my house or go out in the next two or three days, but I do have to film. So I will be taking my hair down. So we'll be able to get a look at my hair without any weather conditions affecting it. It'll do. Let me know what y'all think about these results. Let me know how you feel. How do you feel about this twist out? It's cute, it's not my favorite twist out. It's okay, it's okay. So y'all, that's it. This is my day one hair. Please let me know what you think about these results and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. All right y'all, so it is the next day. Let's take my hair down and see what it's looking like. So I tried to use some of that lay me down stuff. I went on ahead and gave it another shot because I'm trying to go ahead and, you know, try all the products again. Y'all, it really didn't do much for my edges. I don't feel like it did anything. So those are the results of the lay me down. I don't know whose edges that's laying down. I don't even know if it's supposed to like actually like lay down your edges. Maybe it's just supposed to smooth. I definitely feel some slight smoothing. So, you know, that's cute. So I'm gonna use a little bit of the oil again to take down my twist, just, just a little bit because there's still some on from yesterday. So I don't need that much. Okay, so this is my day two hair. What do y'all think? I like how big it is. I'm really loving that. I love the smell of my hair. So I'm gonna do a spin for y'all so y'all can get a 360 view. Was my camera focused y'all? Let me do it again. Okay, my camera is having difficulty focusing on my hair. It's, I guess it's all over the place, but it looks good. It's big, it feels soft-ish. I feel like I can get one more day out of this twist out. We will see, I actually do have a film again tomorrow. So we're gonna do a day three review. Let me know what you think y'all and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. 
All right, y'all, all in all, so I didn't get to film any more days because I think I got one more day out of the twist out. So I think that's three days total. And then after that, my hair kind of went up in a bun. It's very rainy here in Florida. So I'm not gonna judge them on that because it's not their fault that the humidity is ruining my twist out. So I would say I would be able to get three, maybe four days out of a twist out of their products, which is really good in my opinion. So I'm gonna go through each product and let you know how I feel about them. Are they lit or are they so let's get into it. For reference, if I haven't said this already, I have type four A, B, and C low porosity hair. From the Strength and Length Collection, this is the Strong Strands Protein Mask. And like I told y'all, I didn't like this mask the first time I used it, but the second time I used it, I really, really liked it. I would recommend this mask, I like it. Now remember, it is a protein mask. At Sally Beauty, it is $8, really good price. And you get a lot in here. I love the smell. It almost kind of has like a hair greasy kind of smell, but I like it. It's very soft and light. I'm here for it. Again, from the Strength and Length Collection, this is the Lay Me Down product. Concentrated over and, oh wait, okay, so it targets thinning edges. Okay, made with castor oil and bamboo extract. Okay, encourages strong growth. If that's what they're saying that this is, then cool, I guess. I'm gonna have to keep using this to really say how I feel about it. Right now I'm on the fence. It is $5, so if you are interested in this product, go ahead and get it because if it's just for treating your edges, helping out thinning edges and stuff, then I need to use a lot more of this to really see how it's gonna treat my edges. I have thinner edges on this side of my hair than this, so. I'm gonna keep using this to give a better in-depth review of this. I wasn't quite sure what this was supposed to do, if you, as you can tell from what I was saying earlier in the video. So now that I know exactly what it is, um, I'm gonna give this another shot. So right now, it's in the middle of lit and shit. If it actually helps um, my edges grow in a little bit more over here, I'm also gonna give some to my sister because she kind of struggles with thinning edges. If it really helps y'all, then this is gonna be everything. It's only $5 too baby all right also from the strength and length line this detangler no i did not like this detangler i felt like it even made my hair more tangly <laughs> it just really it didn't give me enough slip and it says hair slip conditioning it didn't really give the slip that i really needed and like for my detanglers so this is a no for me it is Again, from the Strength and Length line, this Anti-Break Shine Oil. I really, really like this oil. I'm gonna read you the official description of this oil. It's made with 99% oil featuring 21% castor oil plus coconut oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed, sunflower, soybean, and bamboo extract. It protects the hair from environmental damage. High shine finishing oil for lustrous hair, lightweight, non-greasy, and conditioning. And I absolutely agree with that. I love this oil. I definitely highly recommend this oil I put this on my scalp I also use this oil to take down my twist and also just to like smooth frizz and stuff like that this is a really nice oil this oil is six dollars and I definitely recommend it lit Finally, from the Strength and Link line, I have this Retention Oil Serum. I absolutely love this serum. It's a really nice light oil to put into your scalp. I, again, also use this to take down my twist. Perfect for taking down twist outs and braid outs and stuff like that. It's so light. It's just gonna give your hair that shine that it needs. It's also gonna help you to prevent frizz when you are taking down your twists and stuff like that. I absolutely love this oil. It is $5 and I highly recommend it. It is absolutely lit. So now we're moving on to the moisture and repair line and I have this sulfate free textured hair care shampoo. So the shampoo is silicone free and it is only $5. I did not absolutely love the shampoo. It kind of stripped my hair a little bit but it didn't strip it totally. So if that means anything to you guys for $5, would I buy that shampoo again? No, I have other shampoos that I like but I'm also not gonna say that that shampoo is sh because it didn't totally strip my hair. It just didn't really perform the way that I like. And it's just not something that I would repurchase again. So for me, it is shit. But overall, it's somewhere in the middle. That is up to you. It's only $5. Test it out and see how you like it on your hair. Next up is the rinse out conditioner. As you can tell y'all, I only used this twice and look at how much I had to use of this. Um, this conditioner was shit for me it didn't even really give me all that much slip it really didn't do that great at really conditioning my hair it just wasn't it for me and I had to use it. well I'm I'm usually pretty heavy-handed when it comes to conditioners and stuff which is why I don't really personally I don't really buy conditioner because right after I wash my hair I immediately go into deep conditioning so I don't really feel the need to condition my hair so I don't buy a lot of conditioners anyway this isn't something I would buy 
anyway comparing it to some other conditioners that i have used this just isn't it and it didn't really give enough slip y'all know how we like that conditioning slip it didn't really give that slip that i really wanted so this is Next up is this Shine and Hold Mist. So the Shine and Hold Mist is not on Sally's website. I imagine it's somewhere in the same price of like five or six dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna have to use this a lot more to really tell you if it's lit or sh I'm gonna go ahead and say it's lit because it's just a moisturizing mist, you know, something just to spray on your hair to refresh it. It's nice to have and it's super affordable. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is lit. I definitely don't remember absolutely hating it. So <laughs> if that's the case, then it's lit, okay? So next we have have the leave-in conditioner from the moisture and repair line the leave-in conditioner is seven dollars and I would say this is lit it's a really nice leave-in conditioner especially for the price and you get so much in here I like the smell and it did a really good job of moisturizing my hair and it's a really nice leave-in I like it she lit she lit next up is the creamy defining jello so this is like a curl defining kind of a gel this is six dollars at sally's and for me this is sh it didn't do anything as far as defining my curls it didn't really help plump up my curls or anything like that it's honestly too thin i don't like it it's very thin watery consistency i can't even dip it over because it's going to pour right out i did not like this and i won't repurchase this last but definitely not least this is the star of all the products okay this is the product i absolutely loved the most this curl poppin activator I absolutely love this. As soon as I put it on my hair, y'all, it, it, it this gives the slip. This is where all the slip is. They need to take some of the slip out of here and put it in all the other things that they promised have slip. Because this is everything. This is my absolute favorite. I'm looking to the side because I'm trying to find the price. I'm sorry, y'all. This is $7 at Sally's. And y'all, if you don't get anything else from this line, get this curl pop and activator. I love this as soon and I didn't even use that much as soon as I put it on my hair it just felt like butter immediate curl clumpage immediate like effects like I can't even I'm so impressed with this product in summary if you're gonna ask me my top three favorite product this is number one period <laughs> absolutely love this number two number two is this serum i like the serum more than the oil because the serum is a little bit lighter than the oil and i can just use this every day to kind of like refresh my hair and all that other kind of stuff number three would have to be the leave-in those three were the definite stars of the line so now that i've went through all of the products tell me are you going to be picking up anything from earth supply y'all let me know they are very very affordable i didn't realize that the prices were so affordable until i actually pulled up the information last time I was filming I was like oh wow this is like a super affordable natural hairline everything is super natural no parabens everything is sulfate free beautiful wonderful high quality ingredients so if you're looking for something along those lines I definitely recommend them you know what I like and now you know what I don't so with all that being said tell me what did you think about my results will you be picking up anything from this line and if so what are you picking up let me know in the comments down below y'all know i'm interested i'm nosy i want to know everything so let me know what you got and let me know what you think about earth supply i do want to thank earth supply thank you so much for sending me all these products i feel like i won the lottery y'all i have never won a giveaway and then for me to win my first giveaway to get an entire line and full size of everything was like Oof. i do have some issues with how long it took me and the work and the things that i had to do to get my products but you know that's another thing clearly it doesn't look like they sell things directly from them anyway it looks like you have to go through other retailers and stuff so y'all might not have to deal with them maybe that's why they couldn't give me my stuff because they didn't have it i'm just being petty anyway if you like this video if you had a good time please give me a thumbs up please let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more hair videos from me y'all i'm trying Trying to break into the hair thing i just i don't really do too many things with my hair so there's really not much to talk about but if you want to see different kind of like variations of twist outs that i do because that's really all i do with my hair is twist outs so if you want to see like different product mixtures my favorite like twist out combinations let me know in the comments down below I'll, I'll definitely be more than happy to film that video for you comment down below i talk back i post videos every monday wednesday and friday and i go live every other sunday for makeup and mimosas i will put the the date of my next live at the top of the screen here please join me it is so 
so much fun. Also, if you like reality TV show and reality TV show recaps and celebrity gossip and stuff like that, follow my other channel, Now We've Said It. It is also a podcast. It is available on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google Play, and Apple Podcasts. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, look me up and I am there, baby. Listen to me and subscribe to that channel if you like that kind of stuff. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.